started. Okay, since the last video, I've taken my journal down to the coffee house. In fact, it was just this morning. I've done some more, I've added just some more detailing. I've added some dots here. I started doing some, I just thought, decided that I wanted these gourds to turn into fish. So I did some big white eyes and, and uh, let them dry. So now I'm gonna outline them. And let's just give them mouths. So now there's a bunch of fish that's watching watching her, keeping their eye on her. Not really. The eyes need a little bit more something. So I'm getting a smaller black. And so anyways, there's a lot more I want to do to these pages in the form of doodling. This is a doodle. These are doodles. This was all doodles. I didn't like that hat. If you remember, that was fabric, a piece of um, starch fabric, and I wasn't liking the colors of it, so I had this piece of red with white polka dots on it, and I threw that down, just, uh, just cut a smaller piece and threw it down, and then this morning I just had my white pen, my white gel pen, which wasn't writing real well for me, so you have kind of these scratchy lines but I just circled those. So I kind of like it better. I gave her some little red mittens because I like her red mittens. So repetition is something that you shouldn't shy away from. It's the key to getting better at what you do. Okay, so this is on lettering. <clears throat> um, so we're just gonna jump in there First of all, I wanted to talk about styles of lettering because <clears throat> people ask me all the time, um, how do you make your lettering? And lettering is something that I don't really feel comfortable doing. But then the other day, I realized that this little trick here. So if you take like a, a highlighter pen, you can just use the the fattest part of it well it's hard on the B <laughs> it's gonna be easier here so you, this I wish this was a fatter highlighter but oh well it's gonna show you what you can do I never worry about doing everything nice and even <coughs> this is where it gets kind of fun and challenging and a little bit scary is trying to make your quote or whatever you're doing fit in the space now normally I'd probably use a sharpie poster paint marker for outlining this but I remember that this is that stupid cheap paint on this page so I'm gonna just use my Copic black and I think it'll work just fine so now that I have that I'm just gonna outline it like this and all of a sudden you're creating one type of lettering that doesn't look too bad and so on and so forth. Okay, I'm doing this a little bit faster than I normally would. Okay, so when you get done with this part, you probably do want to do it faster rather than slower because it seems to have a little bit more energy. So now I could give it some shadow so if you I've always done my shadowing on my lettering always the same and that is that the Sun is always coming from the upper right hand corner so I I 
I realized that I needed to stick with one way when the other day I decided to do shading on a different direction and I was completely confused. So if you just start doing it, always the same. So I'm always in a shade on this side that's, so the left side and the bottom. I know, I just know that as long as I do, um, oh, how does that work? So I'm doing right inside here. So it's the, it's the left side and bottom. I'm gonna do the bottom here. Anything that is facing, might be facing like where the sun is, is not gonna have shadow. So you kind of, once you start doing it, you get the hang of it. That was a little bit fat there. Oh well. Again, if I was doing this um, on a regular page, I would definitely want not a sketch marker that's gonna be more fluid-like, which is what this is. I want something that was a little bit firmer so that I would get a nice, clean line. But you're getting the picture. Once you, again, once you figure this out, it's, you kind of know where everything goes. And so you just always stick with that. Okay, so that didn't take very long at all. I don't really like how dark this is. So I could go in there with, um, let's just maybe use some white. And we're going to Lighten it up like that. So we could just, you know, finish it off. So those all, I think, were really, oh. Okay, there's a good example of something never to do. And I had to grab a paper towel real quick. Don't push those paint pens down while you are drawing with them. Not a good idea. I do it all the time, and you will see lots of smudges in my journal, which I don't really care about, but I think you might care a little bit more than I do. So, no biggie. I'm going back over the black. Let's try to get more ink out of this thing. And see, now it's being more opaque now that I pushed it a little bit. Okay. I think you get the picture there. I'm not going to finish that. Um, that's still really light. So, let's see here. Um, this kind of writing, I would probably just use a fine line pen. And this would just be today is Friday, October, um, I don't know what the date is today, 6th, and keep going like that. So in the next video, I'm going to show you some more lettering.